Morning, folks. Happy Saturday. How are you? Um, just wanted to pop on. It's been a while since uh, I've done one of these lives. Um, as you can see, the sanctification process has uh, continued on. Uh, Logan loves when I do this. He, you know, thinks I look like Santa Claus as I uh, as my beard grows out. Um, I guess in the past I was more like Satan Claus, but you know now I'm. I guess I'm transitioning to Hempy Claus. Um, <clears throat> That, uh, you know, always makes me laugh, you know, but I do get the, you know, occasional is like, oh, are you out with your grandson? Uh, which I always find amusing. I was like, no, that's my son. And then watch people just kind of go, oh, I'm so sorry. And it's like, oh, yeah, you shouldn't really judge people because you never know. Um, granted, you know, I am, uh, you know, a bit of an older parent and uh, that has its uh, interesting moments. Um, but the reason why I wanted to pop on is um, I posted an article earlier this week about something that really kind of touches home for me. Um, there was an article that Mark Pavlich, who was a member of the 1980 Miracle on Ice team um, and former New York Ranger, he was uh, arrested and held on trial for a, a violent incident with one of his friends. And he was found incompetent to stand trial. And it looks like, you know, they're suggesting that it was CTE or chronic trauma encephalopathy uh, that was is one of the causes of his violent behavior. And considering the, you know, the past history of CTE, particularly with, you know, Aaron Hernandez comes to mind. And, you know, two years ago, Stan Makita passed away and they found that he suffered from CTE and Junior Seau committing suicide from CTE. Um, there is close to 200 cases of CTE with professional football players. Um and, you know, getting back to, to paths, you know, I, I idolize that team. I, you know, uh, growing up, I wanted to be, be a professional hockey player. Most people that know me know that's, you know, that was always a dream of mine. And my ultimate dream was to play for the U.S. Olympic hockey team. Um, after seeing that 1980, you know, Olympic run where they took down the Russians, it was one of the most exciting and unbelievable things that I had ever witnessed. To me, it was the greatest sports game ever played by any team, anywhere, at any time. There is, you know, hands down, nothing that ever compares to that in my eyes. Um, from Aruzioni's goal to, you know, them winning the gold medal, it was the most amazing thing that I had ever experienced. And to me, it's sad that somebody from that team, you know, after enduring so many hits to the head and multiple concussions, is now, you know, he, he got violent and hurt one of his friends. And now he's, you know, undergoing, you know, psychiatric treatment because, you know, there was, you know, there's really nothing to help them. There's nothing, you know, opioids won't help CTE. Nothing really helps CTE. But the research is showing that CBD has been able to help head trauma cases. Um, it, you know, research is indicating that CBD, you know, can be beneficial to, as a neuroprotectant um, that could actually prevent these types of things. There's a lot of research that needs to get done. However, you know, research with hemp is, is very, very difficult because it's always privately funded. The government will not allow actual research to be done on hemp. Why? Well, you know, that's, that's an interesting question when I, you know, in, in my, in my view and what I'm looking at it is that, you know, the FDA is basically funded by pharma. We know that. Everybody knows that. You know, they're spending, pharma spends millions of dollars trying to fast track their drugs to, uh, you know, to be approved. You know, and here we have something that's really, you know, you, you have, anecdotally, you have not seen anybody having been, hurt by taking CBD or having been, you know, injured by taking CBD. Meanwhile, a lot of these drugs that cause major side effects in other areas are getting approved, which is a little odd for me. Um, and why the government doesn't allow, you know, CBD, uh, hemp research to, you know, 
further the research and and uh, you know and trying to get better efficacy for CBD solutions when it comes to you know neuroprotectants and you know head trauma is really quite you know concerning to me. Um, I don't understand it. I don't really you know get why they would want to do that. But I do know that it's a lot to do with the pharma lobby and they realize that, you know, natural plant based solutions are making more of an inroads into their world and their subscription by medicine uh, model is uh, is being threatened by it. And therefore, you know, there are going to be barriers being thrown up from a political uh, and a financial corporate greed standpoint. And, uh, you know, that's some of the things that we have to overcome here. Um, I I have been speaking to the, uh, you know, to NHL uh, players. I have been speaking to the NHL itself, um, several NHL teams. Um, it's something that I do want to pursue a little bit deeper uh, as I'm starting to work more and more with athletes that are looking to, you know, not only recover from, you know, their workouts and training and injuries and things along those lines, but really from uh, an education and hopefully at some point we can get to a prevention standpoint. Um, but we really need the hemp research to uh, continue and further the cause. You know, we need to stop the stigma. We need to get the government to get off its ass and really allow you know, funding to go through. Right now, all hemp research is privately funded uh, and they really need to let it go uh, and, and, let, uh, and let the scientists do what they need to do to really prove how, uh, how this all can help people. Um, that being the case, I just wanted to, you know, jump online, uh, say hello. This is something, you know, personal for me. You know, uh, my... You know, I feel great from a pain perspective. My knees don't, aren't bothering me. My feet aren't bothering me. I'm able to chase Logan around. It's even more important now with Marie on the shelf with only one with only one hand. Uh, you know, since she broke her finger, you know, there's a lot more that's riding on me that uh, has to get done. And uh, you know, I'm not feeling the ill effects that I used to, um, which is great, and I love it. Uh, you know, I'm feeling a little bit better. I do have a doctor's appointment. Doesn't mean that I don't have other, you know, issues that may be ongoing. I, I always get a little nervous when I have to do a, uh, a checkup because you never know, you know, what they may find. Um, you know, hopefully everything comes out okay today. Um, but there's always that in the back of the mind as you get up in years. Oh shit, what are they gonna find? Anyway, um, just wanted to say hello. Uh, hope you guys uh, have a, a happy Saturday. And uh, I guess this is a hempy close out. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.